dear students we will solve one more problem on the topic minimum alterate tax under the assessment of companies okay we'll go ahead with the problem the income and sorry profit and loss account of bc limited is furnished here given here followed by that additional information is also given here they have mentioned other expenses include depreciation as per books rupees 25000 you find here other expenses of 2 lakh these 2 lakhs include rupees 25000 depreciation and the opening block of depreciation under section 32 as follows that is 10% of and 15% block 20 lakh so this is first block and the other one is uh, next block so you have to calculate the depreciation under section 32 10% block on 10 lakh you have to calculate 10% that will come to 1 lakh 1 lakh is the depreciation and here on 20 lakh at the rate of 15% that comes to 3 lakh 3 lakh plus 1 lakh 4 lakh is the depreciation allowed as per section 32 of indian income tax act whereas what is debited to profit and loss account is just 25000 so what you have to do is you have to add back 25000 and deduct 4 lakh from net profit while computing uh, business income okay let us see other item so in the case of computation of mat or application of mat three these three steps are involved one is you have to calculate tax on total income uh, then you have to calculate tax on book profit then you have to calculate the tax liability so first calculate total income also calculate book profit then calculate the tax on total income then calculate the tax on book profit then ascertain the or compute the tax liability by applying mat provisions okay let us see the items here let us see the treatment of these items while computing business income okay opening stock it is part of uh, business income purchases part of business income repairs of let out property this is relating to income from house property so this is not admissible so this is disallowed should be added back because this that is uh, income from house property municipal taxes also that is not relating to business income that is relating to income from house property that should be added agriculture expense agriculture income is exempt and therefore agriculture expense are also uh, not allowed therefore that has to be added back then uh, interest on konkan railway bonds loan so here you see interest from konkan bonds konkan railway bonds it should be a tax free therefore uh, this is also not allowed so this should be added back the income is not allowed expense is also not allowed penalty by way of weights and wages department any penalty it's not allowed so it should be added back while computing business income and regarding other expenses that includes depreciation of 25000 should be added back and then what is allowed under section 32 of indian income tax act that should be deducted later on any reserve is not allowed reserve for bad debts proposed dividend income tax transfer to general reserve provision for income tax all these are not allowed but while computing uh yes while computing the business income sorry book profit what is to be added back is provision for income tax general reserve income tax proposed dividend reserve for bad debts depreciation 25000 should be added and once again deducted because there is no depreciation or revaluation of assets this is not to be added uh this is to be added because that's related to exempt income and uh, this is also to be uh, added because this is also exempt then nothing else okay look at the credit side you have got Uh, these items are allowed agriculture income this should be deducted while computing uh, 
business income because agriculture income is exempt from tax. Rent from house property should be deducted because that is relating to income from house property. Interest from Konkan railway bonds, uh, Konkan railway bonds it should be, so that is also uh, yes deducted. Thereby you are computing the business income. Okay, now look at the computation of business income. See, net profit is the starting point. These things you already learned. Last year also you have learned and this year also you have learned elsewhere. And therefore, uh, uh, computation of business income involves uh, net profit as a starting point. Then all disallowed expenses or inadmissible expenses and losses should be added back. So, repairs to house property relating to income from house property added back. Even municipal tax has to be added back. Agriculture expenses that is relating to exempted income. So, any uh, if income is uh, exempt, expense is not allowed. So, added back. Interest on Konkan railway bonds loan no, should be added back. Any penalty is not allowed. Depreciation included in other incomes 25,000. Reserve for badges, income tax, proposed dividend, transport to general is your problem for income tax. These are the items to be added. So that the total will be 5 lakh 40,000 should be added to net profit. So 11 lakh 60,000. Under the deduction, you have got agriculture income, which is exempt, not taxable. Rent from house property relating to other head. Interest from Konkan railway bonds is exempt, therefore uh, this should be deducted. Depreciation as per section 32, which has to be computed, that is 1 lakh on first block and uh, 3 lakh on second block together 4 lakh. So, 4 lakh is uh, deductible. Profit brought down because this is the last year profit, earlier year profit, so that, that should be deducted. So deductions will come to 11 lakh 35,000. So business income is 25,000. So first computation of business income, then computation of total income. Actually, business income could be calculated while preparing total income itself, but in that case, computation of business income will be heavily loaded in the uh, business total income computation statement. Therefore, we are calculating separately, and the net value are bringing that to the total income. Anyway, section 22, that is income from house property, salary income is not applicable in the case of company SSC, so that is not taken. Straight away you are taking income from house property. Your rent received is given. So, how to compute, uh, so in the case of uh, computation of uh, income from house property, you need gross annual value, then annual value, and then calculating the taxes. What is gross annual value? Actually, municipal value or fair rental value, whichever is high, that should be taken. That should be compared with the standard rent. Then you will get expected rent. Expected rent should be compared with rent received. Whichever is high, that should be taken as gross annual value. In this problem, only rent received is there. So that itself is taken as gross annual value. Rent received and house property. So one that. Municipal taxes paid, it is given on the debit side of the profit and loss account regarding house property, so 24,000 that should be deducted. Municipal tax is paid, not payable and it might be relating to last year or next year or current year, does not matter as long as it is paid. So that should be deducted, so you will get annual value. Then you have got deductions under section 24, one is standard deduction which is 30% of annual value and then uh, one more thing is interest on uh, loan taken for the construction or purchase of the house property or uh, building. Therefore, here it is 30% of 76,000 only, interest is not applicable. So that comes to 22,800. So net value is income from house property, let out house property is 53,200. Business income, we already computed here, 25,000, that, that has to be taken here. Then capital gains, no, it is not given in the problem. Income from other sources also, no item is there. So you have to take an, you have to take or calculate gross total income which is the total of these two so 78200 so no deductions under section 80 so nil so total income is 78200 so one step is completed computation of business income as well as total income 
Next one is you have to compute the book profit. So where MAT is applicable, you have to compute the book profit. Okay. So what is book profit? The net profit as per profit and loss account, six lakh twenty thousand. And agriculture income is exempt, therefore agriculture expense also should be deducted. I mean, should be added back. Interest on Konkan Railway bonds loan, so it is exempt, therefore tax free, very clearly given, therefore it should be added back. Reserve for bad debts should be added back. Proposed dividend income tax, general reserve, provision for income tax, depreciation. Depreciation is 25,000, should be added back. So you will get 4,72,400. For your information, if wealth tax is there, that is not to be taken back. That is not to be added back. And uh, similarly, uh, exemption under section 10A and 10B, these items are not allowed now. Therefore, they, have, they should be part of total income. So no question of adding back. But under section 10, 11 and 12 exemptions are there, they are allowed. So they are to be added back. Then under deduction, same amount of depreciation should be deducted unless there is uh, depreciation on revaluation of assets. But here there is no such things. So once it is to be added and again it should be deducted. Agriculture income, agriculture expenses are added back. Agriculture income is deducted. Interest on Konkan Railway bonds, these are added, rather deducted, whereas um, yeah, interest on loan, that is Konkan Railway bonds loan, that is added back. Profit brought, from, from brought down, that is last year's profit brought down, that should be deducted. That only you will get to this year's uh, income. So 6,60,000 is the deduction part. So if you simplify the statement from this, you are deducting the total of these things. Not, not deducting, sorry, adding. But add back because they are disallowed. Then you will get 10,92,400. Therefore, you deduct total of all these things that will come to 6,60,000. As a result, 4,32,400 that is the book profit. So two stages we have completed, computation of total income and computation of book profit. Now we have to calculate the tax on total income. So here there are no incomes where special rates are applicable like uh, short term capital gain taxable at 15%, long term capital gain taxable at uh, 20%, casual incomes like lottery income, income from house raise, crossword puzzle, such items are not there. So on entire profit, total income I mean, 30% is applicable assuming that this is a domestic company. Unless otherwise stated, we have to assume that the company is a domestic company. So 30% tax is being levied. So 23,460 23, is the uh, tax when you calculate at the rate of 30% on 78,300. Surcharge is nil because uh, total income does not exceed 1 crore. Then health and education says is 4% of 23,438. So tax and total income is 24,398. Now minimum alternate tax. This also means tax on book profit. So book profit is 4,32,400. On that 15%, earlier it was 18.5% plus surcharge, if any, plus education, uh, health and education says. But uh, now that has been reduced to 15% this year onwards for the assessment year 2021. So 15%, so no surcharge, so 64,860 on that H and EC 2,594, this is at the rate of 4%. So minimum alternate tax is 67,454. Tax liability, tax liability is equal to, I told you the formula, tax on total income or minimum alternate tax whichever is higher so 24,398 here 23 tax on total income uh, it is 24,398 here or tax on book profit or minimum alternate tax 67,454 whichever is high it should be whichever is high I have written here whichever is higher, but while bringing here, I have made a small mistake. So, whichever is high, subject to correction, make a correction here. 
So tax liability is 67,454. So what is the tax liability? 67,454. Whichever is higher out of the two. Now you have to uh, uh, consider MAT. MAT credit I mean. What is MAT credit? If the MAT is applicable, then MAT credit is to be calculated. What is MAT credit? Tax on book profit, which is also called minimum alternate tax, minus tax on total income. Then you get MAT credit. So here tax on book profit is 67,454, whereas tax on total income is 24,398. Therefore, MAT credit is 40,056. Next year, supposing the uh, tax on total income is more than MAT, then that difference can be deducted from the tax liability. So remaining tax liability how to pay. In other words, MAT credit can be used in subsequent years for 15 years if uh, tax on total income is more than MAT. That is to the, uh, to the extent of difference between the uh, total income, tax on total income and book profit for that particular year. So thank you very much. We will continue with some more problems in the next video.